Hi guys, Bomber here. Welcome back to the channel and today we are gonna do a budget deck video. This time around will be a Vespitole deck which is called the Ali Vespitole. So, the, the name of the deck obviously comes from the fact that it is an Ali based deck. You can see that we have uh, uh, 7 cards which are uh, Ali's and uh, 3 which are not. So I'll go through those cards real, uh, really quickly. Uh, so we have a Cartesan, which is uh, a 4 cost uh, Ali, like um, almost all the Ali Vespitole card. And it reads on turn plus 2 skulls, on feed plus 1 skull, and on play draw a card, like all Vespitole cards. This is their main mechanic. And uh, you can see that this card, uh, if we think that uh, a skull is worth a, a gold, uh, this card pays for itself after 2 turns that it is on play. Uh, because uh, it costs 4, but you are drawing a card um, when you play it, and uh, or more often than not, that card uh, will be a, a coin. Uh, so you you pay 4, but then you um, almost uh, immediately gain 1 gold back, so this card is actually like it costs 3 gold. And uh, then uh, on the turn that uh, you, um, the turn after, you get an on turn, which is plus the skull. So if uh, we say that a skull is worth a gold, then uh, again, this card only costed you one gold. And uh, if you pair it up with the hero power of Listrada, which is each turn uh, plus one food, uh, you can feed the Ali to actually activate, uh, for, to activate its on feed effect. And so after one turn that it is that you bought it, uh, it actually uh, has already paid for itself, uh, almost. And uh, so the same goes for wealthy pattern, but instead of skulls we actually have gold, and so th that's the same. Uh, the winter is uh, almost the same in the sense that it has the on turn uh, plus two food, but then it has to feed two gold to gain uh, one food. And this is a more uh, of a situational car when you actually, uh, there are times when you have uh, a bunch of gold uh, floating and uh, you can convert uh, that gold, uh, which you are not using, to actually finish the game by gaining some food and uh, converting them into skulls, for example, with the courtesan and actually finish the game. So a bit of more of a situational car. But but the on turn effect is the same because you can gain those foods and then convert them into skulls with the courtesan so it's actually on the same power level in that regard then we have the supplicant uh, which is a, a bit uh, um, stranger than uh, those cards because it has the on turn or feed so the on turn and the on feed effect are the same and it is plus one magic so uh, you may think that the, the supplicant is worse than a courtesan for example because uh, the courtesan gains uh, plus two of uh, a resource and instead the supplicant only one and you are right on that uh, regard but uh, you have to remember that the supplicant has uh, two health uh, to, first of all and so your opponent has to spend one more resource every time to kill uh, your supplicant and uh, um, the on feed effect is obviously stronger than the courtesan because uh, uh, the skull can only be used to kill stuff instead the, the supplicant uh, the magic from the supplicant can be used uh, to to kill stuff to buy stuff and to feed stuff because the magic uh, is all of the resource at once and um, so this uh, since is, this is the best on feed effect is the best way you can spend your food on and so only one supplicant is fine just to have access to the best resource uh, and converting the food into the best resource and not instead to to gold or uh, or skull uh, at demand for uh, with the courtesan and the wealthy pattern you can have both of the resource uh, with the supplicant uh, and obviously that's this versatility is uh, very strong then we have the militia uh, which costs three three goals it has intercepts and the 25 percent chance to retaliate and on turn feed attack and on play draw card so this is uh, a bit similar to supplicant in the sense that it only attacks for once and so again uh, attacking is uh, somewhat like one gold so it's uh, not as strong uh, a resource uh, a red generator like a wealthy pattern courtesan or winter uh, but it costs less first of all and then it, it is an interceptor and also it has the chance to retaliate and so uh, you may want to protect your allies uh, your resources uh, your glass cannons we can we could say them as uh, we could refer to them as uh, glass cannons you want to protect them and so militia uh, does that pretty well for the same reason the palisade uh, is an interceptor and uh, it's uh, it's a stronger interceptor than militia because it obviously intercepts twice as more than militia but it doesn't attack so palisade is uh, much more defensive and the militia is more versatile in the f in the fact that it can also attack 
Then we have Ballista, which is probably the best alley uh, for this deck because uh, it has the, the on turn attack per times two. And again, if attacking is worth uh, a resource, uh, then it's uh, a glass cannon. Uh, in fact, is uh, somewhat like a glass cannon, a cannon in, in itself, uh, like the courtesan or the Vintrer on the Wetty Patron. So the same resource gain as those cars. And it also has two health points like the Supplicant. And so this is a very strong alley. Obviously, it doesn't have the on feed uh, mechanic. So this is uh, why it's, it is balanced. And some, sometimes it, it is best the Courtesan, and some other times it is better the Ballista. And in fact, the Ballista is the best opener you can have with this deck. The first turn by, uh, the best one is Ballista. Then we have Mercenary, which is uh, uh, a bit similar to Palisade, uh, because it intercepts and it has two health, like the Palisade uh, should have. And, but it also has the Retaliate and uh, the on feed, on turn attack, so it, it is a stronger militia and a, a stronger Palisade, but that it also costs more, so that's balanced. Uh, then we have the Loan, which is a, a must-have in uh, almost all Vespitole decks. Uh, you can uh, have a quick start with uh, the Loan. On the first turn, you can, um, uh, it, since you gain uh, 8 gold, you can go for 2 alleys, uh, which cost 4, for example. Or, for example, a Wealthy Patron and a Palisade. And so, actually, the Wealthy Patron will uh, um, counter the, the Loan itself, because you are paying 2 gold back f over four, t 4 turns but you are gaining two gold and so they actually cancels out and in the meantime you've got uh, an alley which when the loan will expire uh, you will still have that alley so definitely a loan is a very good start the momentum is really important in card games and the loan definitely does that pretty well and then uh, we have the only uh, scars card in, the, in this deck you can definitely uh, change it with the non scars cards like for example you can add uh, another copy of an alley which you really like or for example a surf is also a good addition probably not uh, that much but it, it could work in the, this kind of deck some more intercepts that can work well with uh, your glass cannons uh, some other um, cool additions could be the, the bureaucrat uh, if you want to actually control uh, and slow down your opponent a bit more uh, or other than that uh, probably a marshal could also be fine but i find it a bit more uh, situational so probably yeah you want only to to change it up with the surf if you don't have the harvest but uh, and even if you don't have the harvest uh, this is the only support card in the in the deck which actually make it, makes it much more stronger um, because uh, you can capitalize on the fact that you will have a bunch of alleys on the play and this is a very strong spell that you want to cast to actually uh, gain so much value and another card which is uh, uh, pretty similar to Harvest uh, could be the, the Spy Network which is an hero card but you can get it from uh, Sofocatro which is an uncommon rarity hero so it's probably uh, uh, somewhat easier to, to get than uh, the Harvest uh, and also probably faster to level it up, at least for uh, the, the since the second upgrade, till the, sep the second upgrade. Uh, or another card that you could uh, use is the Benediction. Uh, it's also a pretty similar card to the Harvest. It is stronger, for example, with cards like Ballista, but it is weaker for cards like, for example, uh, the, the Militias, uh, or, or uh, for example, the, um, the Palisade, but, but which is not an alley anyway, so uh, the Benediction could also be uh, swapped in uh, for the Harvest. It costs one more gold, but it's uh, pretty much the same. So with that said, let's just jump into a match to let's see this deck in action. So, I will be playing at uh, Grandmaster difficulty uh, because uh, this deck is fully upgraded since my cards are, are all fully upgraded, almost all of them, uh, at least the commons and our commons are fully upgraded. And so you may think that this deck only works uh, uh, if uh, those cards are upgraded. Obviously, the more your cards are upgraded, the better it is. But uh, I am playing with the full upgraded cards against the, the most difficult opponent in the AI. So if you have uh, not all the cards upgraded, but you are playing against an easier uh, AI, it should work uh, uh, almost the same. So as I said, uh, starting off with Alon is a pretty strong move, in, in particular in the, the opening, and so we obviously want to go for the Alon. And also we have the, belt with the Wealthy Pattern, which will cancel out uh, the Alon, so definitely a, a pretty strong move. 
Uh, then we see that our opponent has a sabotage uh, on his bank, and if you read the sabotage, reads attack. So he will probably play this card and kill our wealthy pattern, and we don't want our wealthy pattern to to die. Sorry for that. The, the left click. Uh, we don't want the wealthy pattern to die, and uh, so first of all, let's just uh, convert the food into gold, which is uh, more valuable uh, since food uh, can only be used to to heal our opponent. And obviously having gold economy is stronger than healing, because if you are always defending and never attacking, uh, you can never win. And you can use your gold to uh, convert it into attacks by buying cards. So definitely gold is more useful than healing, uh, in, in some situations, obviously. Uh, but that said, since we want to protect our wealthy pattern, we want to go for the militia, obviously, which has the intercepts and the will shield our wealthy pattern then play all our coins but one and this is a good practice to always have a, um, a, car, a card in your opening in your hand uh, because this is called the pocket because you actually draw three cards every turn but you can have four so you can actually uh, have a, a coin in your hand uh, all the times and this is called the pocket you can have it without um, uh, losing drawing power and uh, this is a good practice for a Vespitole, because by having a coin in your hand and not in your deck, uh, you will increase your chances to redraw cards which are not coins, uh, and so like alleys uh, which are much better than coins. And so having less coins uh, in your deck increases the chance to draw a non-coin card, and so definitely that's a good move. But that said, uh, as I said, uh, the... Um, uh, our opponent played the sabotage and so killed the militia in, and not the wealthy pattern because it actually intercepted the attack. Uh, then we can go on and um, uh, another thing, another thing for the same uh, reason as before, uh, you want to buy cars uh, with the most coins you can in your hand. So for example, right now I had uh, four coins and I, ha I had three gold. I played one coin and now I, I am at four gold. If I want to buy the cards, I should do it right now. Because by doing that, I will only have eight cards in my deck. Uh, and one of them is the militia, which died, and so I have one in eight chances to, to pull the militia. Instead, if, for example, I play uh, two other coins, then I will have only one out of ten cards, which is a militia. And so I'm uh, by playing more coins, I'm uh, lowering my chances to redraw the, the good card, which is the militia. And, and so this is the same principle as I said before. We did not draw the militia, but that was the, the best uh, way we could increase our chances. Uh, so another time we probably want to convert the food into into gold with the wealthy pattern and then we probably want to go for the harvest next turn so let's see how it plays so right now we can go for the harvest and uh, I want to go for it with an uh, a loan another time because by playing the loan I will increase another time my end size and this will increase my chances to draw a uh, militia even more uh, even past four cards into end so then let's go for the harvest. We did the, sorry, we did not get the the militia, but we still uh, played the, the harvest. And as you have seen, we gained uh, two food from our allies. And since we ourselves are, are an ally, uh, we gained also one more food. So three more food uh, with that uh, uh, with that uh, spell. And so that's really powerful. So let's just play all our coins and pass. So we did redraw the militia, and right now you have to uh, remember that we have an harvest, which is a very powerful card, into our deck, and so we need to, we want to redraw that card. So you, you have seen that uh, I played my non-coins card first, and this increased my chances to redraw a non-coin card because I had less coins in my deck. Again, I'm always repeating this stuff, but it's really uh, um, important for a Vespitole to increase its chances to draw good stuff, and so wh whenever you can, you want to do it. So another time, and as you've seen, uh, by not playing the coins, I've drawn uh, my good cards, which are the Allies and the Harvest. And so right now I obviously want to go for the Harvest. Then I'll play two coins, just enough to, to grab the Wealthy Pattern, to, to actually increase my chances to redraw the Harvest another time. And in fact we did, so that's very lucky, but I did all my best to uh, increase my chances, and you have seen that it did repay. <laughs> And so right now we have 14 food and 2 skulls. So we can convert all the food into skulls with the courtesan. And so we are actually at 16 skulls if we want. And our opponent is at 20. So we are only 4 uh, away from killing our opponent. So let's just wait and see how it plays. And that's GG uh, because we played the harvest. 
and uh, actually even if we didn't play the harvest right now we have 20 food and the first call so we can convert all the food into skulls thanks to the courtesan or actually also attacking with the, the militia was fine but let's just uh, see the the cool animation in action and then we can attack our opponent until death so that's gg So, as you've seen, this deck can definitely beat the Grandmaster difficulty, uh, although even though it's a budget deck, a very free-to-play friendly uh, deck, which can be upgraded pre pretty fastly, uh, so if it can handle the, the Grandmaster difficulty, even at full upgraded mode, it can definitely handle the, the easier difficulties with less upgraded cards. So, that's it for this video, hope you liked it and find it useful, be sure to leave down below a comment to let me know what you want to see in the next videos, and as always, see ya!